Hi, I'm Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, SportBikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to do a video review on an all new boot from our friends at CD. It is the ST. It's available in two variations. The one I have in my hand here is the air model. This is perforated for maximum airflow. It's also available in a standard. The difference between the two is going to be instead of the perforation, just going to be your standard, you know, leather or Lorica upper. I'm pretty pretty spun up about this because I think this may be, if not the best, one of the very best boots they've ever built. Okay, I love what they did with this. The whole concept behind it is great. They have incorporated for the entry system their famous cam lock adjusters that they use on their off-road stuff. Super effective, easy to do. Okay, the techno adjusters they use, those are cool too, no doubt about it. End of the day, I think this is better, and the action on these things is so smooth, it's just completely ridiculous. Let's talk about what this boot is good for, and then I'm going to go in and really break down the features, the benefits, all that good stuff. Intended application for this boot is going to be anything from MotoGP racing to street riding. Certainly, the protection that's built into this, the features, the benefits, really lend themselves more to track riding. It doesn't mean in any way, shape, or form that if you're one of those guys or girls that demands the best on the street, because let's face it, street can be more dangerous than the racetrack at the end of the day, this is still going to be great for you because it is a CD. The only area where this would, would say not excel as compared to one of their other models, like the Cobra right here, is that the walking around comfort in a boot that has this kind of ankle protection it's not going to be quite as high as this, okay? Still good, still super comfortable, but if you're going to go somewhere and you're going to do a lot of, you know, off-bike walking, something like the Cobra might be a better choice for you. So just bear that in mind. Features, benefits, protection. We've got a reinforced toe box. Replaceable toe slider, right? Two screws, so it's on there securely. Shifter pad to protect the boot and increase the service life. Coming around, I want to point out the heel cup and the design here. The design of this heel cup is really pretty huge. You can see clearly, if you're nice and tight here, Jeff, it extends and becomes part of the lateral ankle support system. Wraps all the way around the back. Same thing here on the, ins on the outside, right? Also has the shock absorbing heel protector back here to manage the load when you have an off-bike excursion, you have an impact on your heel. Lateral ankle support from this boot is strong, okay? And if you'll notice what they've done here, you can kind of see it moves up and down in a channel, okay? This is not totally rigid, nor should it be totally rigid. What you want is you want to keep the ankle working inside of its normal range of motion. And as it begins to try and exceed that in the event of an off-bike adventure, right, you want it to begin to slow and then at some point come to a stop, right? but you don't want this thing to feel like it was built out of 2x4s where it's just too rigid, right? Lots of mobility, lots of, lots of flexibility. To protect the back of the leg and the Achilles tendon, you can see what we've got here. They're using this big molded plastic piece to do that, and we can show you more of how they do that once we open the entry system here. The vent built into the outside of the boot, on and off, nice feature. It's going to be a little more important on the standard model than it is the air model, but it's still part of the air model. And it's also part of the ankle support system, right? These parts are replaceable. We've got a molded shin plate, replaceable. This portion of the ankle retention system, also replaceable. These super sweet cam lock buckles, replaceable, adjustable to really dial the fit in for you. The sole of the boot, use the famous CD composite sole, it needs to be rigid enough that if you take an impact, you can stay together, it's got the integrity to protect your foot so you don't get it crushed, and it still is flexible and comfortable. Opening up the entry system, really easy to do, and you can get a good look at what they've done here. Kind of a neoprene back. It's going to keep it flexible and comfortable, and they can get away with that because they're really building the protection into this molded 
plastic piece so they can use the neoprene underneath. The rest of the entry system, we've got Velcro here at the top, we've got a zipper that goes from three quarters up to basically all the way down. I'd also like to point out right here, as you zip over the ankle, if you're large in the ankles, it can get kind of hard to pull the zipper up over the ankle, and it's also tough on the zip. They put an elasticated panel in here. What that allows to happen is you're zipping, it gets tight at the ankle, that expands, it goes right over, it protects the zipper, increases the service life, and that's a beautiful thing. Just going to kind of pull this away just a little bit to show you what this looks like here. This is your replaceable shin. We've got leather or lorica back here. 3D spacer fabric all throughout the inside of the boot. You can clearly see that there. The idea here is it creates a microclimate between the upper of the boot and your leg and or foot. When it's hot out, that works to keep you cooler, that air pocket. When it's cool out, it can work in the opposite. It can be insulating and work to keep you a little bit warmer. All in all, what do we think of this boot? I think it's pretty apparent. I love it. I think this is one of the best boots they've ever built. This actually could be, all things considered, when you start talking about value, this could be the best one because it sells at a price a lot more affordable than the Vortice, which is also a great boot. And it has pretty much all of the protection features, actually all the protection features that you're going to find in the Vortice. I'm stoked for it. I think it's going to be very successful. I think it's going to be one of those boots initially. It's going to be hard to even keep these things in stock. I'm Brian Van from SportbikeTracker.com. This is the all-new CDST.